Hi again guys, um, today I want to talk about something a bit different from the usual hacking. Uh, I want to talk about building your own Bitcoin or Litecoin or Dogecoin or Altcoin, any kind of cryptocurrency uh, mining pool. Uh, the reason you want to do this is because it's a bit of fun and you can make pretty good profit in, in terms of uh, uh, coins received in the terms of uh, pool fees. Uh, so today I'm using the latest build of Ubuntu which is 14.04 running in VMware Workstation 10. Um, the you need a few dependencies in order for this to work and I'll put that in the video description I'm not going to go through uh, building the dependencies because it takes a long time but the only thing you need to, to take keep in mind is when you install MySQL you'll get a screen like this and it asks you for a root password you need to remember whatever password you use I'm using the password password for my build okay uh, it's also important to remember that whatever we do here will only work on a local network and you'll need to uh, forward ports appropriately if you want this to work on the wider network and allow people f to connect from over the internet. First thing you need to do, and I'm going to go through in this first video, this will be a three part series, is uh, find a coin, clone the coin GitHub repository and build it and configure it appropriately. First thing we need to do is find a coin, usually we do that with gun with uh, Bitcoin talk and the coin I've chosen today is gun coin it's not, it's not uh, a particular favorite of mine it's a good coin it works well and I know that the github repository is good and everything appears to work so you see you get a lot of information on the on the uh, page for Bitcoin talk but most imp mostly what we're interested in is this uh, source URL here so I've already got that so let's copy that to our clipboard and uh, we'll clone it uh, with git clone and then we just copy in the URL okay you can see I've already cloned it uh, but you'll it'll just clone automatically for you okay so now we see that we've got gun coin in our home directory so let's navigate into the gun coin folder and then we want to navigate into the source folder src city space src and we can see there's a whole heap of stuff in there and often what you need to do with these coins is navigate here into this level DB uh, directory so let's do that and now we need to give ourselves permission uh, for one of the one of the files and that's called the build detect platform file that we need to make sure that we have appropriate permissions to make sure building configures correctly so let's do a chmod a plus x and we do build detect platform and that's done so now we go back let's go back to the src directory and now we do a make tac f make file dot unix use underscore upmp equals tac now depending on how much ram your system has this could take between five and ten minutes so uh, i'm going to pause that while it churns away and i'll come back once it's finished building all right so that's finished building now it took about three or four minutes to do but now we have a successfully compiled uh, wallet for for gun coin now what we need to do is start the server so the way we do that is we do a, a dot slash gun coin and we put a d on the end so obviously whatever coin you choose to build you just you do the same thing and it'll be like litecoin with a d on the end or dogecoin with a d on the end and we're going to get an error and what that tells us is that we don't have a successfully configured configuration file and it tells us where that configuration file needs to live um, so we can successfully find that so we're going to go back to our root directory and we're going to do cd dot guncoin and now we need to create ourselves the guncoin configuration and it, it tells us that it's called guncoin.conf all in lowercase so we do a sudo nano guncoin.conf and what we need to put in here is listen equals one server equals one daemon equals one we need to put an rpc user and this can be anything you like but you need to remember what it is i'm just going to call it guncoin server you also need to put an rpc password and i'm going to use guncoin server one two three just so i remember it we now we need to to tell the wallet uh, what port we need to use. Now often they give you a port in the bitcointalk.org uh, announce thread um, but you can do anything you like. I recommend as long as you use something over 10,000 you won't conflict with anything else running on your system. So we do an RPC port I like 10456 because I'll remember it. Then we need to do an RPC allow IP and this is going to allow any other connections from our uh, host machine to connect to the wallet so we need to do this uh, in order to connect 
and, and we just do 127.0.0.1 so meaning that the local host can connect so let's save that by doing control X tap Y press enter we now have a configured guncoin configuration file so let's go back to our root directory and let's navigate back into the wallet so it's cd space guncoin cd space src now let's try and start the guncoin daemon again and you'll see that it's running now uh, it'll constantly run in the background and it will download the blockchain as, as appropriate and to see the process ID uh, to make sure that you the process is still running and always running you do a PS tac EF do that straight thing I don't know what it's called I we'll type in grep guncoin and it shows us that the the process ID is 3968 so we can kill that if we need to but for now we don't need to now what we need to do is uh, come up with a wallet address so that we know where all our funds are going to go and we can point uh, our our um, yes uh, we can point our uh, pool towards that particular wallet address and the way we do that is we do a dot slash gun coined and we do a get account address and we do two parentheses next to each other and that's the local wallet address there it'll be could be anything um, but you need to remember that so I'm going to copy that across over to a notepad file so I remember and let the let the wallet uh, finish syncing with the blockchain and the way you check that is you do a dot slash gun coined and you do a get info and it will tell you uh, what block you're up to and you can check that with the with the particular blockchain uh, because I'm going to stop this video now because uh, this is only part one I'm just going to let that finish downloading and uh, in the next video we'll come back and we'll configure the stratum server and then in the third video we'll consider that we'll configure the web front end and uh, get it all tested and running okay so stay tuned for the second video thanks for watching